Hey everyone, I'm Bella, and in this presentation, we're going to be getting into Mad Sweeney and his depictions in Irish myth, as well as the novel American Gods. Mad Sweeney's character is based on the figure Sweepna Matt Coleman, otherwise known as Sweepna Gilt, and he is more of a legendary or historical figure than a god, and he's often depicted as the king of Dalaride and a member of the clan Coleman. And his main text is Boile Swibna, which translates to the frenzy of Swibna, the madness of Swibna, or Sweeney's madness. So it's easy to see how Gaiman got the name Mad Sweeney. Boile Swibna opens with Swibna hearing of a cleric on his land, and he rushes to confront him. He gives no attention to his wife, who tries to stop him, and she only succeeds in ripping off his cloak. Naked, Swibna encounters St. Ronan and goes to remove him, throwing his book of psalms into a nearby lake. And before things could progress any further, Swibna is called to the Battle of Magrath and leaves the cleric to brew in his humiliation and sadness. And with that, St. Ronan curses him. He, meaning Swibna, will ever be naked, wandering and flying throughout the world. May it be death from a spear point that will carry him off. Later on, Ronan and Swibna are both in attendance at the Battle of Magrath. One morning before the fighting was set to begin, Ronan and his psalmists were blessing the men. Swibna took this as a taunt and quickly killed one of them with a spear to the chest. He then turned his fury to St. Ronan and hurled another one. This was deflected, leaving Ronan unharmed. As the deflected weapon flew into the air, Ronan spoke his second curse against Swibna. He said, May you go, likewise, even as any bird, and may the death which you have inflicted on my foster child be that which will carry you off, to wit, death from a spear point. When the fighting commenced, the sounds of men fighting and the thundering of the heavens drove Swibna mad. He was filled with a deep dissatisfaction of where he was and where he'd ever been. He began to wander, stepping so lightly that he appeared to fly from tree to tree and he nakedly found his way through Ireland, Scotland, and Western Europe throughout the years of his madness, eventually finding his way to teach Moling. Once there, St. Moling allowed Swibna to return every night and partake in a small meal a serving lady would leave for him, as he wrote of Swibna's life. The woman would dig her heel into a pile of cow manure and fill the hole with milk. As this arrangement continued, a rumor was spread of the serving woman and Swibna of a tryst or affair. This reached the woman's husband, and without waiting for any explanation, the husband found Swibna drinking his milk and quickly killed him with a spear to the chest, fulfilling the curse Ronan had set upon him. With that, let's move on to Mad Sweeney. The American Gods novel mentions that he was brought to America by a young girl from Banshee Bay and he's described as tall and lanky. Though Mad Sweeney only appears in two chapters of the novel, he's often drunk and ready to fight if need be. The character is described as being desperately down on his luck, which is ironic considering he calls himself a leprechaun, and he often does odd jobs like when he worked with Wednesday. And of course, he has his coin magic. And over on the right, you can see the depiction of Mad Sweeney used in the graphic novel, Adaptation of American Gods, and a lot of the clothing he wears alludes to portions of Boile Swibna, which I will get into on the next slides. So, Mad Sweeney and Swibna Gill. How are they similar? Well, the first point is that they both have a quickness to join in a fight, or a willingness. Swibna wasted no time in rushing to confront Ronan at the beginning of the story, and have had no second thoughts in killing the psalmist at Magrath. Likewise, Sweeney was quick to start the fight with Shadow at the bar at Wednesday's request, and he even has a patch on his jacket that alludes to Swibna's lack of patience. Then there's nakedness. Swibna is literally naked. His wife rips the cloak from his body and he is cursed to roam naked. Sweeney, he is stripped of his identity. He lost his accent from living in America for so long, and he has no place in the modern religion so he was stripped of who he was as a legend. Madness in Battle Swibna was brought to madness through the sound of battling men and the thundering heavens. Sweeney's madness 
was found in the looming war between the old and new gods as he was stuck in the middle. Then there's wandering. Swebna was never satisfied with where he was, so he went flying from tree to tree with no home. Sweeney had no satisfaction in his place in the world. He doesn't fly, but he uses alcohol and drugs to allow his mind to wander and occupy his time, and Asher alludes to this. And this brings me to my last point, drinking and death. It's a bit of a stretch, but bear with me. Swibna, in his final moments, is sitting and drinking milk from the hole that the woman had left for him, and before he is killed by her husband. Sweeney is found frozen with a bottle of $20 whiskey in his hand. And here's where they're connected. Sweeney is actually wearing a hat that says, The only woman I've ever loved was another man's wife, my mother. And this is an ironic callback to the way that Swibna died in a misunderstanding. So, overall, Gaiman does a pretty good job of connecting the story of Swibna Gill and his key character traits to that of Mad Sweeney especially when considering that he only appeared in two chapters of the American Gods novel.